Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look into what is happening with the workhorse stock, WKHS. So as of this morning, it's a little bit on the green side going up, but let's see what's going on. Let's try to understand the stock a little bit on the background of the company. So the, this is something which about two, three weeks ago, where this article came out where workhorse stock is still a buy based on long-term prospects on investor place. Then two days ago, it came out with this particular topic. Workhorse stock looks like it's probably dead in the water. There's not much good to say about WKS. And as of this morning, two hours ago, it came out with this article where they're talking about left for dead, workhorse stock is set to come back from the post office loss. Yeah, th this particular topic took a great hit over the weekend. And uh, you can see that topic in the, the title is still on the same lines that are left for dead work hearts. So yeah, just, just to read between the lines of what's happening. Now, in, in terms of this particular article, it's talking about the short term interest where it's uh, on the higher end and their company is still getting some contracts and still growing. So is it the wrong stock to short? But yeah, uh, let's try to understand what's going on with the stock. All these links will be in the description for you to do your own research. Uh, this is not financial advice. This is just analysis of the company and going over what's happening. So among the high short interest stocks, WKH is right on the top, showing about 40.2%, but as per this website. And a few things. So IKEA, uh, they had announced earlier that they're going to be in, right in New York. They're going to be converting all their last mile delivery to electric vehicles by May 2021. Right now, they're testing with different particular, different trucks and different models and trying to see which one would work out. And for that purpose, they're using this company called Fluid Truck. Fluid Truck is like a renting company. And uh, right now, they have all EV vehicles of different brands, different companies. And they're just using that to test out which particular company would be better. And, and this, this image was posted uh, on stocktwits.com. And uh, here they're showing about how the fluid truck in, along with the uh, you know, workhorse models is being tested for IKEA. It looks like about there are five trucks in this model. Now let, let's come down to this one. Uh, this is Pritchard EV. This is like a dealer for workhorse. So you, you can talk about workhorse in a sense. And uh, they posted a video on their you know, uh, Facebook page where they were showing how workhorse and Pritchard was working with Kroger to do charity donations. So they every few days or few weeks they're picking up a charity and then using workhorse truck to deliver all the charities and all the donations for those charities. Now, uh, this is something interesting to look into. Uh, this particular drone right here, which is sitting on this truck, uh, th this shows a use UPS, but uh, you, you can see what's happening here is basically this is a drone that will pick up the parcel and then do the last mine delivery, last delivery, you know, dropping it out for a person. And for that workhorse owns patents. That's a big deal, actually. Workhorse wins patent for delivery truck launch. Now, uh, we're thinking about the USPS contract and how it did not win, but this itself could be a game changer if it were to, you know, uh, properly logistically you know, executed, where it's going to be working out for everyone. Because if, if you think about it, imagine Amazon, where uh, it's delivering, it's going into a compound, you know, with a bunch of houses and it needs to deliver to each house. And instead of going in and stopping in at the event where the driver is coming out and uh, dropping stuff for every house, he could just park at one particular location and a bunch of drones could come out of the truck and deliver the last package over there. So uh, it looks like, and if you look into the patents website, uh, there are three patents that were signed. And this is interesting. The last, the earliest patent is going back dating 2016. And then, so right from there, so it's talking about multi-copter US. UAV dispatch from a conventional delivery vehicle. And then 2018, some, something similar. And then again, 2018. So they, they have patents going on for themselves. So that, that could be something interesting if, if some other companies are paying attention, something especially like Amazon or UPS and other delivery services. Uh, in, in, under the Fintel uh, for the workhorse group, if you look at the institutional ownership, you have different companies. Along with RQ over here, it shows about 4.7 million shares still sitting as per 624 but uh, and that's per this particular website which also tracks the this is not uh, Kathy's arts exam you know the official page but this is from 
the kathysart.com, which is basically tracking all the shares and talking about how the position is closed. And uh, Kathy used to be very bullish on this company. That, that's something which is interesting to look into. But what happened, and um, I'm curious to see how, how what transpired over here. But, um, I, I know days where this particular day, when the on the February when the contract or when USPS you know, gave the contract over to uh, Workhorse, right then the stock fell considerably, and instead of uh, you know, selling off like others did, Kathy bought considerably. She she uh, you know increased her position. You can see the uh, violet color line, the blue line, which is going up considerably for that particular day. So, uh, and uh, she's been buying ever since then, and she had some good reasons for that. But uh, I need to track in to see to see what happened, what transpired over there, and go back to the emails in that day. Uh, now, uh, coming back to this one, the USPS contract, which was given to Oshkosh uh, back in February, uh, the or, you know while at the time of the debates, it was told that they'll at least do seventy five percent for the EV. But then later on, they came back and said only ten percent of the vehicles would be EV. So that's a major blow with regards to this current administration, where they have already, you know, uh, back in January, Biden had, you know about how it's going to convert all the uh, government vehicles into their EV models in the push to towards you know converting everything to EV and and it doesn't make sense if you if you have a company like Oshkosh working on you know, fossil fuels uh, it will cause effects and cause issues later on eventually uh, things will move towards the EV and everything at, at some point will close close to where at that point and that instant all these vehicles especially from the Oshkosh uh, they, that they will tend to go obsolete. So yeah, uh, so they're definitely interesting in so what's happening in the world of politics. And uh, uh, this is another one where they are contesting that particular Oshkosh contract. And uh, there are many lawmakers uh, who, who are asking for a freeze or reviewal of the Oshkosh contract. So there, there's still some pushback going on and something interesting to look into. Yeah, so just want to share this with you and all this information will be in the link in the description. Do your own research. I might have a bias or I may not have, but yeah, uh, do your own thing before you do anything with the stock. With that, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.